scannel. This is, you know the drill. It's Grassroots. It's the final season on PS4. It's season six, episode 12. Um, <clears throat> just getting the old live stream prepped on the iPad. Give me one second and then we'll carry on. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's Friday then. Yep. Yeah. Right, we're going. We're live. Um, yeah, so basically, last episode finished off. Just mute my watch, hang on a second. So yeah, last episode finished off with three great results. Um, finished off with that match against Accrington Stanley and Florian Jonsian scoring four goals. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. There he is on the right there. Four goal Jonsian shatters Accrington's defence. Two absolute pieces, by the way. Um, yeah, so this episode is going to start off with Wolves and then I believe Arsenal and Everton in this episode. So yeah, pretty good matches coming up. Um, hopefully we can continue the progress we've made. We're still top of the league. Three points ahead of Liverpool now. Same games played, so... Fingers crossed we can keep it going. So we're going to go jump straight into the Wolves game then. We're away from home, but I'm really tempted now to put Florian Jonsi on the bench. I think I might do that, to be fair. Um, actually, no, I won't. I'm going to keep him for the uh, for the cup matches. Is he in the team already? Where is he? So he's not in the team. He's not on the bench. Oh, he is. He's there. He's on the reserves. Right. So then, um, Greenwood and Cliver up front with Matan just behind. That's not too bad. Sessignon, Paxton, Michael, uh, Christian Rivera, and Gareth Bale in midfield. Oscar Sorelkeld, um, Perez, and Pierre Gianni in defence, and Costa in goal. Pretty solid team. It's the team we've been going with most of the season, um, apart from switching out Ryan Kent on the left occasionally and uh, Alan St. Maximan on the right instead of Bale for some matches. Uh, Aidan Barlow's been playing well. Eddie and Ketia has been playing well. So, you know, good team, good performances this season. Let's hope, hope it continues. Uh, we'll get straight into Molyneux, though, and see if we can get away with three points here today. Apologies for it being so dark in the living room, but once the television uh, gets onto the match, there you go. Bright lights. Hope everyone's had a pretty decent Friday. Mine's been not too bad. Glad it's over, though, and the weekend can start. That's for damn sure. But let's, uh, let's get into this first game, then. Wolves versus Salford City. This is Molyneux. In the Wolverhampton, in the Black Country, as they call it in the UK, the home of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. This should be a special game, Alan. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics these two managers are likely to employ beforehand. We'll soon find out. Come on, Salford. This game, Alan, there's a visiting team that won't be phased by the atmosphere in this ground because best defensive team in the defend. league only conceded 17 well, I think, goals. Uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defense. What's this game going to bring us? We'll find out very shortly now, won't we? Because the game is underway. And here is the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. Be nice if we could get out of this with a clean sheet. And what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much Good depends tackle. on the wing backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. So we think it's going to be 3 5 2, Alan, don't we? Yes, oh. it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. Well, it's a pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the referee's kept his cards in his pocket. Routine for the keeper. Oh! Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside, off target. Yeah, just slightly missed time, that one. Perez.
So easy in possession. Giving the ball away now. Justin Clivert. Very good tackle. Oh. They can be quick on the break now. This is the sort of side with the credentials to win the league. And they're getting themselves in a good position to do that. They are. I mean, they've not been uh, phased at all by being top. Sometimes it's good ball. Affect. You might be through. Oh. No threat now. Could get the ball into the box now. Well, he's tried his shot. Oh, what a shot from Greenwood. Makes a save. That's a comfortable save. We're hearing about a goal at the Emirates. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 18 minutes played, 1 0. Cheers, Alan. The shot gets blocked. No. Hasn't quite got it as he wanted, Alan, has he? No. Next time, maybe he'll take a touch. Well, they usually get their man, Real Madrid, and that's certainly the case this time. Yeah, about £60 million. Pounds. That is a really positive move. I think it's vital that he settles down quickly at his new club. Oh, come on. Come on, Salford. Striding forward, purposefully. That's more like it. Speed of this guy. On the attack here. He's got support in the centre. Oi, what a goal, Bale. That's a stunning goal. Beauty. Fine move. I didn't expect that was going to go in, to be fair. I thought he was kicking it over. What a goal! Some aplomb here. Looking at this replay, you're not sure whether he meant it or not. Of course, he, he meant it. it. Just too high for him. One nil, Salford. So the first goal, it's one nil. Goal for the visitors, number twenty-three, Gareth Bale. Chance to get forward from the wing. Now they can go forward, having one goal kick. Ball. And the referee what? spotted that deflection. He's pointed to the corner. The crowd doing the bit here, Martin. It's getting quite noisy in this stadium. Oh, oh blocked on the this line. Can uh, relax a little bit. Uh, he was certainly tested to the full extent of his reflexes just a moment or two earlier. Yeah, I mean, the second save a lot simpler than the first, that's for certain, but great goalkeeping. A one pass away from being a great move. Bale, Clivert, Greenwood. of control possession here so far but I've been a bit disappointed with them so far as we've uh, shown they've had lots of oh piss off well it is a free kick that was a good and, tackle uh, they're excited by this it's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper oh what a big moment this could be in the context of the whole match Made the save, and it was a pretty comfortable one. Oh, and now Wolves in possession. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Three minutes. He could take them on here. Going for goal. Not far away at all. Nearly. Well, Nearly one one. Sure, they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. Doherty. One nil at the break. All good so far, not too bad at all. That goal from Bale was a beauty.
have a look around the grounds. Arsenal beating Newcastle 2 0. Chelsea 2 1 up at Everton. Against Everton, sorry. Leicester City and West Ham 1 1. Liverpool and Burnley 0 0. That can stay that way. That would be great. United and City haven't kicked off yet. 0 0. Southampton and Brighton 1 0. Spurs against Bournemouth. And Watford have beaten Cardiff City 2 1. No subs then. Playing all right. Quite comfortable. And now the second period, the second half is. We'll underway. see how long Bale's uh, stamina lasts in this second half, but he played a good first half, to be fair. Going forward well. Excellent reading of those danger signs by the defender at a crucial oh. moment. Good tackle, Sessignon. I think the cross is on. Far too close across to the keeper. Well, coming up for you on EA Sports, the next Premier League fixture for the hosts. Into the attacking third. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Good ball. Keep it in bail. After this, the visiting team are involved in this fixture in the first. Nice. Bale trying the ball in behind. Chance. No. Out by the goalkeeper, but only into a dangerous area. He is the type of player <sighs> to take that on, but he can do better than that. Normally, he's a good chipper. He is. I mean, he's always trying the unusual. I think the idea was right. Just uh, pulling it off. He could manage. It would have been a good goal if he'd have pulled it off. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Keeping calm in the pursuit of uh, an equalising goal here. Not panicking. Greenwood. Go on, Mason. Oh, Riding come in. on. Bit Corner. Got away with it. Corner. Yeah, let's bring Ryan Kent on instead of Gareth well, Bale. Quite difficult to, to get it up and over the bar from that range, but he did just that with a chip. Potentially may bring Nketiah on as well. I think I will, actually. Let's bring Greenwood off. Oh, wrong wrong one. Swap him back. There we go. I need to get a second goal. I think that's going to be uh, vital in this game. In goes the corner. Not really away from the threat here. The time to go to Anfield where Alan McAnally's got some news for us. It's a goal for Liverpool. Liverpool winning then. 1 0. And we're back here again thanks to Alan McAnally. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. And that header takes the ball out of play. Substitution coming up. As you can see, the visitors trailing in the possession stakes. This is how they love to play on the break. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. He was really exposed. Yeah, it was a good break, and you did fancy the player bearing down on goal, but fair play to the keeper. Quick witted and quick in his movement, too, to intercept there. Well, he wants to run at them with the ball. It's good to see. In the nice, 2-0. Well, Alexandre Matan, that's the cushion. Bit of that after. He's on his bike. <laughs> nice finish. Very neatly taken. The first time response to the ball coming his way. Well, if you don't have to take more than one touch, don't. And this striker is known for that. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. One pass away from being a great move. Go on. That's something for him to chase. In on goal. Oh, that was weak. Brilliantly read by the goalkeeper. Yeah, all about positioning there, Martin. He's an experienced keeper, and he showed it there. 
Now they're looking to get forward from this position. We can go over now to Alan McAnally. Oh, that was delicious. What a finish. Eddie and Ketty, yeah, that was sensational. The pass, I mean, not the goal. Obviously, the goal was Cliver. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, delicious. Fantastic stuff. It is now an extraordinary lead. And you could say really game over. We're down now to the last six minutes. My apologies to my good friend Alan McAnally for cutting across him then. Confirmation that Burnley did score in that match. Oh, I didn't catch you to wait. He's through. No, oh. he deserves it. Knockout punch. Well, if it wasn't wrapped up before, Alan, it certainly is now. Yeah, no mercy from this side. I'm thinking about goal difference, I think, now. That's his 11 for the no season. Clivert's got his 12 for the season today. Like I said in previous episodes, Nothing the goal scorers are just all over the pitch. To be so far ahead. Three minutes to be added on. There will be a minimum of three. Saw it coming. Cut it out. Good work. Oh, he's off. He's offside. His assistant has got the flag up. It's offside. Yeah, miles off. Saw that coming and intercepted. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. Made a quick interception. And that's it. Last blast. Of very, the very referee. good win. 4-0, clean they sheet. Up, they? They kept on going to really, this. really well done. Very big margin of victory. Yeah, they were ruthless actually. Quite often, last 10 or 15, you, you ease off, but this team didn't. Another goal for Gareth Bale as well. Right, full-time scores then. United and City haven't... I haven't kicked off still, so they must be playing on the Sunday then. Arsenal 4-0 against Newcastle. We've got Arsenal next, so that'll be interesting. Chelsea beat Everton 3-1. Leicester beat West Ham 3-1. And the rest of them don't matter. <laughs> um, right then. Transfer window's opening tomorrow. So, ooh. So what happened with Liverpool then? Because we're now five points ahead. Interesting. Um, next up then Arsenal I think we're away I think I've played them at home already we'll see though Lazio have shown interest in purchasing Ryan Kent for 19.8 million I don't think so uh, his market value should be between 21.7 and 31.8. So you could negotiate a better deal. How about let's not negotiate and let's say he's not for sale. Loan offer for Alex Doyle on a one-year deal. I'll accept that one because I don't even know who Alex Doyle is. <laughs> And 156 grand based on performance in the FA Cup so far. Hmm. Okay. Arsenal up next. Oh, we are at home. So we have played them at the Emirates already then. I'm going to start Enketia for this match. And I'm going to drop Bale as well and give Alan St. Maximan a match. Even though Bale scored in the last game, he could still come on in the second half, potentially. Um, and I'm going to drop Sessegnon and play Kent again. Just to keep him happy. Because he's been moaning recently as well that he's not getting enough game time. 
when in reality he's he's played every single match apart from like the last two when I brought Sessegnon on to fill in for him. So, you know, can't have it all. Alan St. Maximan's attacking scenario. Shot power 85, attacking position 85, finishing 77. So, yeah, don't need to do that. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football is coming right up for you. This should be a special game, Alan. Well, I yeah, hope thanks, so. Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first 10 minutes how these teams approach the task. So, this is how the hosts line up today. So we think it's going to be 3-5-2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. I mean, this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly Ooh. in England. But the few Arsenal getting a little bit uh, twitchy there in the first couple of minutes. Well, here comes the corner. Arsenal have possession. They've won it. And they've booted it as far the away as they can. Lineup. Bernd Leno starts in goal. Declan Rice starts alongside Tin Yedvai in the heart of defence. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Go on, lad. Way, what a goal. 1-0. Oh, <laughs> Speed of that guy. It is a great piece of play here by... An attacker who was outnumbered by the defenders and still scored. I think Great. as a result, Martin, the keeper was Great stuff. as well. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. There is no doubt that the home side today are the story of the season so far. Tremendous football, great results. Well, we're guiding it through. Difficult for the defender against well, the player who wants to take him on like the this. Block. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. This could be a chance. Good save. Onto it, the keeper. Catch it. Goes for it with a fist. Get it. Well, he certainly wasn't. Jeez fast Louise. The, glory of the first save. The game continued. Oh, you know what goalkeepers are like. He's probably disappointed it was such a simple second save. Um, but he certainly showed us what he's got a few moments earlier. Yeah, no wonder his teammates are, are thanking him because they didn't give him much help there, actually. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Very good work from the team that's still behind, but one goal away, of course, from equalising. Congolo. Oh, unlucky Saint Maximum. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. The equaliser here. Just throwing his body into the way of the shot. Still heading That'll do. He did well to get Keep to the putting him first. there. That's Best quite all right. Yedvai. Read the play well. Cutting in now. Oh, penalty. They completely disarmed the opponent with that tackle and come away with the ball. Yeah, listen to that. The crowd giving the ref a fair bit of stick. They were convinced that should have been a penalty a moment ago. Chance to go at the opposition with pace. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. With his skill, here's a chance to have a run at goal and take the opposition on. Very able Ooh, to deflection, get corner kick. In the way. Corner swung in, and the defender able to clear it away. Can go in from here. Free kick, man. The referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Some big lads in that box waiting for a cross. They'll be hoping not to be disappointed. And the oh, what? It's a great shot. And the what a goal. No what a goal. 
knuckleball right into the top corner. Boosh. Very, very good. What a goal. Yeah, I think when the opposition conceded that free kick in this area, they feared the worst, and so it turns out. 2 0 Salford City. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Pepe. Really strong play in the tackle. It is Arsenal who are a goal down here. But half time approaching, and there's still plenty in the match, of course. Yeah, and their fans doing the best to liven them up. In with the three. Is well, he offside the then? A goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. No, it's well, in. We see it, coming, I think. it wasn't it's offside. He <laughs> could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. Well, there is a big difference between these two teams. Nice. That goal has meant it's Justin Cliver, number think, 14 uh, of the it's season. Here on in because they've got a big cushion. Fantastic Rightly stuff. So, well in the lead. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. There will be a minimum Good chunk of added minutes. time here. Three minutes. Musa Dembele. Come on, Salford. Let's get another one. Go on, Cliver. Oh, he's through. And he goes for the chip. Whoa. And touched over the bar. Well, here we'll see what they can manage from the corner. Dangerous ball dealt with by the goalkeeper's punch. 3 0 at the half time. Blowing his whistle. And it's 3 0 here. Lovely stuff. Time. Only result so far at half time is Leicester City winning away from home at Brighton. Don't need to make any subs. Matan's looking a little bit slow, but. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's bring him off and we'll put Aidan Barlow in. 3 0 then, second half begins. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half time. See if we can get Justin Cliver his hat trick. That's an unforced error, really, with the pass. What a ball. Kent. Pulls it back. Now. Oh, that would have been a great finish. Away. We'll see this team again soon. This is their next fixture, which we'll bring to you on EA Sports. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? They're playing Leicester City in their next match. So much at stake, and I think it will be tense and tight. They certainly announced that they got a, a war chest for transfers to improve their squad, Manchester United. And this is one move that they have now made. Yeah, about 40 million they've invested. And I don't think they'll have many regrets about that. Should be an interesting first few weeks. Can really get at the opposition here. Oh, that was really two. Offside as well. Attention of the pass. Arsenal with the substitution. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Come back to get a touch and get involved in the game. Justin Clivert guided through. Should be. And he tries to oh. chip in. He's trying to chip him for. Should have just wellied that straight in. Put the corner in the middle. Opportunity to play it into the middle. Perez. Barlow. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly.
Pepe. Space for the shot. Oh, the shot gets blocked. Corner. In goes the corner. And now the shot. Very able to get his body in the way. Blocked another shot destined for the goal. Could have been about 8-0 the amount of shots I've had. Terence Congola. Neatly intercepted. Coming inside. Well, the team unable to find the pass there. They ran into a strong challenge, to be fair. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Oh, what a pass. Clybert. That was silly. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again. A back heel, brilliant. That'll be a throw. The change now for Arsenal. It's going to be a substitution for Arsenal. We're down now to the last six minutes. Strong, fair challenge. Balls out for a throw, though. Yedvai. One or two options now in forward areas for them. It's a drive, some power, but off target. Yeah, I'm lucky. He didn't quite get set for that one. Ryan Kent off then for Ryan Sessignon. Just had a mind blank then, I couldn't remember who I bought on. the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Added time. Well, did not expect a clean sheet against Arsenal, but thank God. Well, it turned out to be a different kind of game. Solid 3-0 win. Set up for you at the beginning, very one side. On to the final game of the uh, episode, then I'll be against Everton. Playing really well now. Uh, Liverpool play Newcastle, so hopefully Newcastle could do something there, knock some points off again. Mason Greenwood, I'm happy with the amount of football you're giving me. Thanks, boss. Good. Proud of you. Right. A transfer offer for Christian Rivera for 24.3 million in Lazio. It's worth between 25.6 and 37.6. I can't let him go, can I? He's an absolute stalwart in the middle. Reject that offer. Been a quiet one tonight in the old chat. Nobody's been on there. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, now. Now, now. Real Madrid have shown interest in purchasing Justin Clivert for 71.5 million. Hmm. If Souls Like Gamer was in the chat, I'm sure he'd been telling me, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but look. Oh, that's a good. That's a good amount. Market value is between 55 and 82, and they've offered me 71 and a half. That's on the higher side. I mean, but it's Justin Clivert, though. No. Nope. Can't let my top scorer go, can I? Be a bit stupid.
Greenwood and Cliver. I'm going to drop Greenwood for Enketia again. Um, and I'll play St. Maximin again from the start, but I'll keep Bale in mind this time. I think he will play. Um, and yeah, I think that'll do it. Three more points, please, Salford. That'd be a nice way to finish out the episode. Yeah, as I was saying before Real Madrid, Real Madrid rudely interrupted me, it's been very quiet tonight, this episode. Nobody in the chat. Um, that's all right. I like playing the career mode by myself anyway, so um, it's not a big deal. 